Hello again. We had worked with amplitude, which means we put a number in front of the sign to be multiplied. We worked with a vertical shift, which means we added or subtracted something after the sign function. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work with something called phase shift. And basically what phase shift means is like, I've got this graph and I'm either going to take it, you know, as one piece and move it either to the right or to the left. And it depends on what you're adding or subtracting. If you're subtracting, you're moving it to the right. And if you're adding, you're moving it to the left. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. I went ahead and I drew y equals the sine of theta again. This red graph, as best as I could, but it's not going to be perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what the sine of you know, theta minus pi over 4 is. Basically what it is is a degree minus 45 degrees. You know, if, you want it, if you want it to be a little bit easier, it's you know, y equals sine of... Well, it's not going to be easy anyways, but it's going to be this minus 45 degrees. So every degree measure you have, just subtract 45 degrees by it. And yeah, I chose 45 degrees because I was using increments of 45, and I can figure that out in my head. And I you know, don't want to use a calculator if I don't have to. So that's why I do it. So here we go. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult, though, because when I put in 0, it's not actually the sine of 0 anymore. It's 0 minus 45 degrees, or it's the sine of negative 45 degrees, or the sine of 315 degrees. And the sine of 315 degrees is root 2 over 2. It's actually negative root 2 over 2. So we can't just use that little trick that you know, we kind of had, unless you can kind of figure it out. If we put in pi over 4, that's pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which is 0. Sine of 0 is 0. If we put in pi over 2, that's uh, you know, 90 minus 45. Sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Okay, maybe this is making sense. Well, let's see. 3 pi over 4 is 135 degrees. 135 degrees minus 45 degrees is 90. Sine of 90 is 1. Some people right now can actually kind of figure out what's going on here. They say, oh, I know what's going to happen. I know what the values are. Some people are like, I don't know. Please just keep going. Sine of pi is 180. 180 minus 45 is 135. Sine of 135 is root 2 over 2. Sine of 5 pi over 4 is 225. 225 minus 45 is 180. Sine of 180 is 0. Uh, next one. Uh, 3 pi over 2 is, uh, gosh, is uh, 270. Uh, sine of 270 minus uh, 45 is 225. Sine of 225 is negative root 2 over 2. Yeah, I'm just lazy. This one's root 2 over 2 as well. Uh, but it's negative root 2 over 2. I'll, I'll go ahead and show it. Sine of 360 minus uh, pi over 4 is sine of 315. Sine of 315 is uh, negative root 2 over 2. And I did this one, negative 45, which is the same thing, 315. Uh, this one, 7 pi over 4 is 315. Uh, 315 minus 45 is 270. Sine of 270 is negative 1. Bam! Okay, I think I got it. I hope I did. Uh, I did. 0 and, let's see, negative uh, 0.707 is right here. Uh, 0 and pi over 4 is right here. Pi over 2 and that, which means that uh, 3 pi over 4 and y is 1. And then 4 pi over 4, which is right here, is root 2 over 2. Oof, that's terrible. And that's 1, and that's root 2 over 2, and that's negative 1, and that's that. So, pretty cool. Here's my graph. Oof, it's butchered so badly, too. And I'll try to work around it. Basically, people say, oh, I see what's going on. Um, I shifted it down. Uh, no, you didn't shift it down. What you did instead was you basically uh, shifted it to the side. And what I mean by that very quickly is saying, oh, um, so did I do this? Yeah. And somebody says, what is this? Basically, I took this graph and I picked it up and I shifted it this way. So I took this graph and I shifted it over here. Now what's really interesting is people say, that's not true. Yes, it is. And here's why. If I take this graph one step further, if I go, um, you know, 9 pi over 4, which is 360, which is 415. 415 minus 45 is 360. The sine of 360 is 0. 
Glad I was able to figure that one out, is right here. If I take the red graph one step further, if I go the sine of uh, negative 45 degrees, the sine of negative 45 degrees is the sine of 315, the sine of 315 is root 2 over 2, Oops, which is right there. So it looks like that. Basically what I did was I took this red graph and I moved it over. I shifted it one spot. I shifted it pi over 4. If it's negative pi over 4, I shifted one spot to the right. If it's positive pi over 4, I actually shift it one spot to the left. And people say, that's confusing. Well, not really, because if you use um, uh, quadratic functions, you know, like y equals x minus 2 squared, the vertex is actually at right here, plus 3. The vertex is actually at 2, 3. You know, it shifts this way 3, and it shifts this way 2 to the right. Well, it's basically the same thing. I take the opposite of this, which is pi over 4. So I shifted it over pi over 4. And there was no vertical shift there. So, a little confusing, like I said, kind of a struggle for me to figure out the values without trying to, you know, mess up, because I have to sit there and subtract it in my head. But yeah, that's what the graph does. You pick it up and shift it. Uh, you pick up the red graph and you shift it when you're doing that. You're not actually picking up the brown graph and shifting it, because this is actually the phase shift itself, the, the brown one. Uh, with that said, I hope that was helpful. Have a good day for now. Goodbye.